I just, I'm going to be honest, that trench coat is like super badass. Like what do you super, think he's hiding under there? He's hiding, he's hiding eight inches of straight. <laughs> straight oh, dawn. <laughs> to be a great example of artistic expression. It says I'm a thousand percent on the side of robots being a major threat. They scare the shit out of me. Erica, a female android with human-like speech and interaction, Erica, is one of Ishiguru's most Just like we're not. Yeah, I was wondering. I was like, oh, one hundred percent. Erica's a babe. Oh, boy. Right. Lifelike oh, creations. No. Erica has glittering eyes, wet lips, and artificial. <laughs> what the hell is this video? Yep, 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 Shi Ishiguro, a professor at Osaka University's Intelligent Robotics Laboratory, who is arguably best known for inventing Geminoid HI-1, an android modeled as him down to his distinctive black leather jacket and a Beatles mop top built from his own hair, is at the center and leader. That is the weirdest thing. All right, all right. So we've watched a lot of weird shit in the, uh, on our channel. That is the weirdest thing that I think a person can do. Like you're making a facsimile, like a, a a humanoid robot, to look like yourself, and instead of just buying a wig, you use your own hair. What is like? Wh who was who? Ooh, who you know what? You know what this is? Is this dude is just like I'm gonna use my own hair and all of his his. I'm uncomfortable. His, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, student. Assistants, what are they called? Grad students were like TA. TA. They were like, okay. I mean, you're the boss. You know, and this no one could tell this dude no because he he obviously has some like some great talent. Oh, we gotta make robotics. a sketch about this. This what? is funny. We should make a sketch about this. <laughs> of the group. Really Erica, cool. on the other hand, seems and sounds significantly more natural than Ishiguru's silicone doppelganger or Geminoid F, his prior human-like robot. Yeah. Though she is also unable to move freely, she has improved speech and the ability to hear and answer queries with uncannily human-like changes in her facial expression accompanying each statement. She's tethered to a chair, but sensors monitor her surroundings. While conversing with someone, she can learn a lot about them by speaking planned comments in reactions to their remarks. Ishiguru claims that Erika is the most beautiful and intelligent android in the world. The prince. I think it's data. I think. Uh, okay, so first off, yes, okay. you're right. But secondly, this dude really thinks that this robot is beautiful, and I'm going. I'm going out on a limb, and going to say that he refers to this android as a as a person as as her i'm gonna go even it's further like, out on a limb that he made this like android in kind of like like a version of his mother i don't i mean principle of beauty is captured in the average face so i used images of 30 beautiful women mixed up their features and used the average for each to design the nose eyes and so yeah, on wrong. that means she should appeal to everyone he explained why? She's a more sophisticated version. Well, I mean, what's the purpose? If you put all my favorite foods together, it doesn't mean that I would enjoy it. It does still mean that I would eat it, but it doesn't mean that I would enjoy it. I... I'd i watch a series about him wanting to marry it. I mean, he does. Like, that's the whole thing. Like, this... I... Uh, I'm just the video? F, what? another Ishiguro creation, seen in Sayonara, director Koji Fukada's film adaptation of the same named stage piece. Geminoid. Who I don't know if I could watch that video. Why not? F know. made history like as the world's lot. first humanoid film actor, co-starring alongside Briarly Long in the film set in rural Japan after yeah, a they nuclear gave that disaster. Robot giant While robots cans. in movies are almost <laughs> as old as the medium itself, Erica did not rely on human I feel actors. Like, I feel like if you were, if you, if you're gonna make a a, a robot, I mean. Go big or go home, right? I guess. That's how you can. It's like an C3PO all right, maybe or the I motion get this guy capture technology bit. behind, for example, Sunny from iRobot. There are 25 female broadcasters listed on the network's talent page, and she is at the top of the list. 
In addition to her birthday being listed as August 2017, her schooling and blood type have been omitted from the profile page. Tei Ishida, a Japanese fashion designer, was interviewed by her in one of her videos covering robot news. Her conversations can be smart and amusing, even if they aren't completely natural. I like to think of robots as the children of humanity, and like children, we are full of potential for good or evil. Sorry, not my fault that the robot's evil. It was, right. uh, did it all on its own. Why don't we think of children as the children of humanity? That, I feel not. like that makes a little bit more sense. Does it? Does it? Does it? Okay, no, okay, yeah. I mean, Erica if you want said in one of her many witty asides, conversation companion. This isn't the video that I thought it was. I think the next one is the one that I wanted to watch. Well, maybe about, we'll do it next stream. Well, I mean, we were watching the thing about the robots, but it's about Japan made a sex robot. Like a well, fully, like an actual human-like well, sex know what? robot. Maybe on Thursday we'll curate yeah. the videos for your robot well, fantasy. I mean, we don't have to finish this video. We can keep watching about this weird, weird dude who who I'd like is to trying check the to, box. Trying to create the world's most perfect sex robot. I'd like to check the box. Uh, you know what? We oh, there she is. Hi, sweetie. Oh, hi, Tissy.